I am Preston Spratt at Sprattronics Learning Lab in Greenville, South Carolina. And last time we created the Animal Alarm from the Spike Essential Kit and the Great Adventures Unit. I wanted to take it a step farther today and show you how you can record and play your own sounds so that we can make an alarm that sounds depending on which animal comes in front of our color sensor. And I also wanted to talk about cause and effect. A cause is something that happens and the effect is the reaction that happens to that. So our cause last time was our blue creature walked in front of the color sensor and our effect was that our LED matrix up top changed colors to reflect what creature was coming through. All right, I use the Lego Spike app online and I go to education.lego.com start. And when I get there, I click on Spike app. I'm on a Windows computer, and so it tries to get me to download the app, and I really just like the Chrome web app. It works well for what I'm doing. It works on all my computers, my student computers, and if we have a visitor come in and they bring their own, as long as we're using Google Chrome, I know they can connect to our robotics kits. So when we get into this, we are going to go to Spike Essential, and then I'm going to click on New Project. Last time we went through unit plans and went to the animal adventures activity. This time we're just going to click new project, icon blocks, and that's going to give us all the blocks that work with Spike Essential so that we can record our voice. Well, maybe I'll leave it in and let us know that the program is ready to go. We'll make this the armed program. And so I'm going to change my light to show all green whenever we push play on the program and then I want it to wait a second and then I'm gonna have my light turn off we're trying to get Leo to sleep at night and that means having no lights on but we do want to know that our animal alarm is active now before we do anything else let's connect by clicking on the connect button in the top left corner pushing the button on our hub one time and then we open the connection window and my hub shows up and I pair. And I'll see that that light turns solid and then might change to blue to let me know that it's connected. Fantastic. So let's just test and make sure that this program is going through. So when we hit play, the light should turn green and then change to off. I don't like that green. It looks turquoise to me. So let's make it a darker green. There we go, now let's try it. Stop the program, hit play. There we go, that's clearly green. Now, let's add our color sensor blocks. This first color sensor block will be for red, but I actually want it to change to blue when the blue creature walks by. And what I'd like it to do when the blue creature walks by is I want the light to change blue. And let's record a sound. So we find this hollow piece and it has a microphone inside and we just click on that and then we'll click the circle button for record. And I'm getting an error, but I see up there that I have blocked the microphone and I'm going to turn it back on to allow the microphone. Let's try it again. Blue creature, blue creature. And Lego goes ahead and cuts it shorter for me because it saw I paused. And I really only want the sound at the very end. So let me rotate my bar. Blue creature. Excellent. That's what I want it to play. Now I've created a new block down here, which is recorded audio one. And that's blue creature. If you recorded another sound, like maybe for a green creature, let's change this to green. I want my light to shine that teal green. I want it to wait. I want to record. Frog in the camp. So I record my audio. Cut it down to size, test it. Frog in the camp. Perfect. And I'll add color block two. And then once the audio is done playing, I'm gonna turn off the lights. 
and let's test it out. Let's see if this works. So we hit play, light should turn green. We'll start with our creature. Blue creature. Fantastic, that worked. All right, and this is a lizard. Let's see if it makes the alarm go off. Frog in the camp. There we go. Frog in the camp. So we have recorded our own audio. We have used our color sensor to detect changes in the environment. And then we have created a effect or a reaction to that color sensor to sound an alarm, depending on which animal comes through. I'd love to see if you could create something for all of the colors and let me know what you made.